Hi, I'm Rob Simmons, Product Manager with Garrett Advancing Motion. The topic I'm going to present is turbo system optimization. While turbocharger selection is a critical part of your project, selecting the correct mating components is equally as important. Optimizing the entire system ensures that the engine will make the target horsepower and everything functions properly. What I hope you take away from this is not only a better understanding of turbo system components, but also where you can find this information for future use and projects. The areas that I'm going to cover are based on questions that we've received during trade shows and races, as well as areas I feel are commonly overlooked. So let's get started. The oil supply depends on the bearing system and the turbocharger. There are two types, journal bearing and ball bearing. Journal bearings function similar to rod or crank bearings in an engine, where oil pressure is required to keep the metal components separated. In general, an oil restrictor is not needed for a journal bearing turbo, except for oil pressure induced leakage. The recommended oil feed line is a dash 4AN or hose or tube with an ID of a quarter inch. You should always use an oil filter that meets or exceeds the OEM specifications. The oil supply for a ball bearing turbo is slightly different than a journal bearing. An oil restrictor is recommended for optimal performance. The recommended oil pressure at maximum engine speed should be between 40 and 45 PSI. This normally equates to a restrictor with an orifice of 40 thousandths of an inch. However, you should always verify oil pressure entering the turbo after the restrictor. In general, oil leakage should not occur on a properly functioning system if the restrictor is not used unless the system pressure is excessively high. For a ball bearing turbo, the recommended oil feed line is a dash three or dash four AN or hose or tube with a similar ID. And again, you should always use an oil filter that meets or exceeds the OEM specifications. This concludes the video presentation. I hope you found this information helpful. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, this information is available on the Garrett Motion website, along with other general and technical information. Thank you for your time and good luck with your future turbo projects.